Ah, Cletus, there you are. There's your mysterious companion. I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire Organon to this high boat. What? That can't be true! Where is that traitor? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is, someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Argus, I don't believe it! You are trying to deceive me to bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back! Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me. Oh, me! What's going on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter, which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia. Right now, Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop! Ulysses! You fool! This is madness! My decision stands! Don't try to stop me! But... But what? But what about the Organon? What about it? The Organon was destined to be blown up all along! Ah, uh, I forgot. But... But what about the Deponians? When you detonate Deponia, what will become of them? Enough energy to catapult Elysium towards the nearest inhabitable planet, I hope! Have you no conscience? Oh, I do, most certainly. But it is necessary. And you are not going to change my mind! But... But what about me? I don't want to die! I know. You're the third prototype, aren't you? Yes. The tragic fate of the Alpha Generation has always fascinated me. That's why I took Argus under my wing back then. You may think you aren't one of them, but actually, it has always been your destiny to die, just like the rest of the Organon. And the fact that you don't want to die is simply due to a flaw in your design. But... But what about you? You're gonna die as well! True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Ha! Huh. So you've got a conscience after all! You don't have to do this! Oh yes, I do. But... Why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Who or what? is forcing you. I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know, I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself, like a rat amongst the garbage. That isn't a dignified life. Not for- For a bunch of stuck-up swell heads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia, I'm doing this for you, Goal. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Deponia will be destroyed. And Elysium can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Gone? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was... You! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us and your precious daughter. Exactly. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation! But that's... 
Impossible! Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent! The transmitting antenna, of course! But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck! It would be a suicide mission! Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. So am I. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. got all day, you know. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Fun! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that so many times before, but never actually, you have killed us, and that makes all the difference. That's quite enough. I've had it with you. You will hold yourself back from now on. Leave the rest to us. So, how shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a rufus. The rotors are keeping the high boat upright. Even if we could block it, the high boat would capsize. That would be the end of us. Hmm. You know, we could... Shut up. You know, we could... Shut up. You know, shut up. You know, shut up. Whoever would guess that the three of us would work together someday? Whoever would guess... You know, shut... Step aside. I've got a plan. Stop! Don't! <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and... Who's the idiot now? You, of course. Same as always. Huh? Why? Just look. The transmitter fell into the rotor, and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. Oh, damn. It's still active. How are we going to reach it now? There's a catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are you? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me? You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? <laughs> Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being shredded by the rotor are about one in three. Hmm. Well, one in three isn't half bad. That depends. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. If the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it. But that's insane. Have you got a better plan? No, oh, fuck off. It's all settled then. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. One. Two. Hey, what's this? Aren't you jumping? Are you? You were gonna cheat, huh? Not me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I almost jumped by myself. <laughs> All right, but no cheating this time. We jump at three. One, two. Yeah, you were about to cheat again. <laughs>
That's all right, but we jump at three. One, two, <laughs> three. Rufus? Rufus, wake up! Ouch! What, what happened? You made it! Bravo! W where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm at it. Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it! Very good. And now, destroy it, piece of cake. <laughs> uh... I can't reach it from here. No! What are you doing? Destroying the transmitter! What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rota, are you? I knew you were an idiot, but... The sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so far! Ah! <laughs> I did it! The transmitter is destroyed! Deponia is safe! Yes, very impressive. But to make it a little more interesting, you blocked the rotor. Then help me up so we can get the rotor running again. It would be such a bummer if the high boat were to break apart at this point. After all, we're only a stone's throw from Elysium. Yeah, that's an idea. Another idea would be to let you rock down there. I suppose it depends. Depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Yes. You what? Ah! What's going on? Something's blocking the starboard rotor! Is that bad? No idea! Do you miss Deponia? We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there! I can already see the airlocks! The airlocks, you say? But of course! The maintenance ladders! Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate! Go and gather your friends together! And what about the Organons? Them too, of course! Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders! But what about you? Go! There's no time for discussion! Go now! I refuse to believe this. You still intend to have the Organon invade Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same gene. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? You, perhaps? No, but so, uh, what do you say? Over my dead body! That's too bad, but it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate so long, Rufus. No, stop that! You rotten bastard! <laughs>
<laughs> there you are again. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. <laughs> Don't. The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die. But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? Don't look at me. You two messed it up this time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once. Let me think. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So, we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Goal! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Yes, it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's getting to Elysium but me, right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No. There must be a way to get all three of you out. No, there isn't. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. I am Cletus. What? That's not true. I am Cletus. Nonsense. I am Cletus. Wait a minute. Does that mean that among the three of you, only Cletus is man enough to reveal his identity? It's what I had expected from Argus, but Rufus... After all we've been through, you don't even trust me enough to show yourself? You're right, Gold. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm Rufus, of course. Don't believe a word he says! I am Rufus. He's lying. I am Rufus. They're both bold-faced liars. I am Rufus. Oh, great. And now, can the real Rufus give me some sort of proof? Of course I can. Look carefully. I'm much better looking than those two scarecrows. I can't see a thing from here. You all look the same in those costumes. I need a better clue than that. I know something that the other two definitely don't. Oh? And what's that? That I cooked breakfast this morning. Yes. That was unusual. Anyone could have guessed that. Yes, but not what we had for breakfast. Easy. We well, have... I don't think I can hold on any longer. Ah! Rats, now we're back to square one, and I still don't know who's who. I am Rufus. Oh, really? Prove it. Well, who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No! Uh, uh, it's true. I'm not Rufus. Uh, Rufus? That's him. What? Uh, yes. I, yeah, sure. He's right. Uh, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? You know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. Definitely. Just think. How can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never... Let go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> huh? Hello, Rufus! What? Barry, what are you doing?
doing here? You were my idol, you remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere. No, seriously. I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here. At first, of course, I was shocked, but then I did understand. Brilliant, really. It was actually the only thing you could do. A genius plan, even from a philosophical point of view. The ultimate altruistic deed. <laughs> wow, Rufus. The oh-so-resolute Rufus at last finally changed! Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is appropriate? But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever... Rufus. But this is totally cool. Ah, here come our heroes. The saviors of Deponia. Well... A fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, Your Eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, go. You can do it. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible... Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles and... Uh... Getting back to those flying dragons, how big would they have to be? Oh, oh huge. With very large teeth. And they should breathe fire. Closing my case, there's nothing left to say. <gasps> Any last questions? I take that as a no. But if you feel battered, your whole world is shattered, I may have a helpful suggestion for you. Just grab your harmonica and sing about the podia. And prove us a stream of a life more ideal. And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day if you let go. And if that's so, I'm off now for real. Usa is off now for real. <laughs>